Hey everybody, it's Katie Underwood, Associate Editor here at Chatelaine. I don't know if you can see me behind all this food, but as promised, I am going to attempt to eat Michael Phelps's 2008 pre-Olympic breakfast. I should start off by saying that I didn't promise to finish all of this, but I'm going to try. It looks very intimidating, um, but this cream of wheat looks really lovely. So um, also shout out to our kitchen who prepared the whole thing, Carolyn Sue, our food director. Everything looks amazing, so if I don't finish it, it's nothing personal. Um, yeah, if you have any questions for me, I don't know what those questions would be. Um, you can ask about how things taste or how I feel or, you know, really anything, because this is kind of a weird day. Um, we're also going to be talking about Olympics, so people, our staff, are going to be coming by to chat with me about some high points and low points, um, good Olympic moments, bad Olympic moments, and uh, without further ado, I think I should probably start eating, because I'm on a limited time and uh, stomach capacity here. So. I guess I'll start with cream of wheat. It's kind of an embarrassment of riches here, but. Go, Katie! Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna start with French toast. <laughs> anyway, this is me eating, in case you ever wanted to know what that looked like. It's actually more of a brunch at this point, but I figure it doesn't really matter. Breakfast is good at any time of day. My mom is watching. I hope she sees that I'm using a fork and knife properly, because. That was kind of an issue when I was a kid. It's really good. Someone's gesturing at me off camera. Oh, right. I should probably tell you what I'm about to eat here. Yeah. Um, so, pardon me for talking with my mouth full. We have three fried egg sandwiches with cheese, lettuce, tomato, fried onions on very thick white bread. We have three slices of French toast with powdered sugar and syrup, three massive chocolate chip pancakes, which are pretty intimidating but look awesome. Um, this is actually one five egg omelet separated, so it looks a little bit more intimidating than maybe it is. I'm not sure. We'll get to that later. Don't eat eggs first. I feel like that might be a bad idea. I was actually strategizing a bit this morning. Um, and we also have these dainty syrup cups, a bowl of cream of wheat, which is standing in place for grits. This is not the, um, the original Michael Phelps diet. There's a substitution here. So feel free to try that at home. Some water. There's also um, this handy bucket, but don't get your hopes up. That was more of a joke. Yeah, so I'm just gonna eat. Feel free to watch. <laughs> I think Sarah's coming to chat. Oh, hooray. Yeah. We might have our first guest soon. Something That's true. I'm almost done this toast. I'm like, not really almost done. This is really good. I feel like people dream about having this done for them, just like a tribe of skilled cooks making a brunch just for them. They're saying not to drink too much water. Save your space. Mm. This is Gemma. Thanks oh, hi, me. Gemma. Thanks for your tip. This will be like long silences punctuated by Olympic facts, so it's gonna be a good day. Oh, I've also got two cups of coffee here, which will be good to break up all the food. Oh, hi, Gemma. <laughs> Katie, mm -hmm. um, Amira wants to know how you prepared for this. How did I prepare? Today. Well, I'm wearing some really stretchy pants. I. Uh, what did I do? I ate an apple about an hour ago just to, you know, wake up my system. Um, listen to some Drake, uh, some Eye of the Tiger. I don't know, if you guys have any suggestions for songs that, uh, that are good for competitive eating pump up, let me know. You're wearing stretchy pants, Laura wants to know. Obviously. Lots of good lucks. People are rooting for you, Katie. That's amazing. Yeah. I feel so supportive and cared for right now. Oh, hey, I have a guest. Oh, oh my God, it smells so good in here. Ladies, and probably mostly ladies, but the old gentleman. <laughs> Sarah Bosfeld, our senior writer. She's not I had to, to see this happen. Yeah. I had to heckle. Yeah. She's eat, been... eat, 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 eat. <laughs> That's I'm not... probably what Michael Phelps' coach says. That's true. He just like looms over his shoulder and like, forces him to down it faster. I just picture Michael Phelps like mostly sitting in his hoodie with a scowl. I don't actually picture I mean, him that swimming scowl, anymore. That scowl, that famous scowl. <laughs> okay. So Sarah, now that you're here, 
What's been your favorite Olympic moment so far? Um, I kind of hate watch the proposal. <laughs> That's right. not a cool Olympic moment, I know. Do you want to tell our viewers, uh, just give them some context? Okay, the context. Okay, so um, there was a Chinese Olympic diver who was on the podium, um, was it Sunday? And she won silver. Yes. Um, not gold, silver. It was bronze up there, too. They were on the podium, and then her boyfriend came up to her um, just as she was accepting this medal, and she, they, he proposed. He got down on one knee at a velvet box. He was like, will you marry me? And she's just like, ah. And that can be read many different ways. It can be read like, I'm so excited. I can't believe this is finally happening. Or it's like, dude, not right now. Like, Bro, this busy. is not appropriate. So, and at the world is watching. So later, at uh, the press conference, she answered some questions about it. And she was like, I don't think it's the right time to get married after a few questions. Just <laughs> you know, questions about that. But the interesting thing to me is that it's like not the only proposal that has happened. Mm -hmm. It is, three, uh, right? it's just, the third one was um, yesterday, I think, at a dressage. Anyway, mm -hmm. I, that to me was just very interesting to watch. Um, but the reason I'm bringing that up is that I'm so not a sporty person. So I'm like, what happened in the Olympics in terms of sports? Obviously, Penny Alexiak is just done just amazing. our country so proud. She's like my spirit animal right now. I, I know. Like she probably eats pretty well. Yeah, I just finished watching the McLean's video where a dude of the dad bod um, tries to meet nice. her time. And it was pretty, pretty good. Love I thought he did pretty well. You're going to have a dad bod after this. Uh, let me just say, I just finished a plate, so... Yay! Woo! I feel fine. I feel good. Woo! Feels right. All right, what are you doing next? Hmm. Want to pass me a cup of coffee? Are you trying to wash this stuff down? Do you want any milk or sugar? Yes, please. Both? Yeah. Right. Maybe a little sugar, just because I don't want to fill Fixing up. Fixing our coffee. Someone says you're eating too slow. Yeah, I think so. Wrong. I think you're right. Who? Eat, 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 there's no time. There's Don't no interrupt my She just expects you to spend your entire hour and a half Who lunch. said that? <laughs> uh, Ron Hulis. Sorry for that. Ron, you just try this sometime, Ron. I'll Ron. save you a pancake. Do you have a strategy with the food order, Katie? I don't. I, um... I think I'm gonna eat the cream of wheat last because it seems feels like I'm gonna expand a little. <laughs> These um, breakfast sandwiches look and smell amazing. <laughs> so much food. I'm just like trying to keep an open mind, you know? Don't wanna like pressure myself. Why are you fork and knifing? You should like taco that. I wanna have a job tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> are you concerned about like the maple syrup spilling in your yeah. face? I'm a bit of a messy eater, so I'm trying to create the illusion that I'm not. This is really good. Yeah. This is... Are these chocolate chips or blueberries? Chocolate chips. Blueberries, no thank you. I'm, I'm like taking them back to my best. I am a fervent chocolate chip pancake appreciator. Bourbon? Bourbon? So you just said, do we have any bourbon? No. Um, <laughs> chocolate chips belong in pancakes. Blueberries don't fight me. <laughs> I agree. I don't like blueberries in, in pancakes. No. They bleed a little. Yeah. And it looks like purple. I don't know. I'm yeah. not anti-purple, but. Have you had a favorite Olympic moment? <laughs> Sorry, your, your mouth is full. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, what is it? This is probably legit athletics related and not mm. socio-culturally related like Cause mine. Because I'm such an athlete. Yes. Um, Team Canada. I love when um, Penny Alexiak wasn't expecting to win a medal and she waited like 24 seconds and then turned around and she was like, oh my god. Like she was totally, came yeah. as a surprise to her. I love that. I love when an athlete hugs their family. I'm really sucker for a good Hallmark <laughs> family moment. Yeah. I don't know. Well, Rosie McLennan too with her like defending her Olympic gold was pretty rad. You know, yeah. that, that's a hard thing to do, to make sure that nobody else tops your game the next time around. It's also four hard. years, right? Like four yeah. years of just making sure that that does not end up in the hands of somebody else. Yeah. I, well, I can't remember who tweeted it, but it was like, I don't know, this sounds very like trippy and whatever, but the idea that humans are just consistently getting faster, like we're always breaking really? our own records. So it's like, are we so fast after this? Yeah, I know. This is like a, this is a dry <laughs> run. <laughs> I challenge. This, this is all gonna get cold. You gotta hurry up. How much bacon is there? Laura wants to know. There's no, no bacon. bacon. There's actually There's no, no bacon. bacon. There's Michael Phelps doesn't eat bacon for breakfast. I don't know. That's. I was kind of disappointed, to be honest. I was like, Phelpsy, where's the meat? Actually, there isn't any meat to, 
to be honest. I don't see any meat on this table. No. There's lots of protein in the form of egg. What's in the sandwich? You gotta get to the sandwich, man. <laughs> eat, eat, eat. <laughs> Honestly, you need a kinder guest next. <laughs> yeah, we have John's coming in a minute, so I'm a bit. I actually have, you know, like I, I do have friends who try to eat enormous amounts of food sometimes, and I'm like the dance mom, you yeah. know, judge that will not like let them stop eating. Yeah, I feel like my mom, if she's watching, hi mom. Uh, my mom's been really good about encouraging me eating large amounts of food for most of my life. Like, oh, I've basically course. been on the cleanup crew for our family holidays since I was, like, eight. So I feel like that's been kind of, like, unwitting training in a yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. There's, like, a, um, a Dutch-ism in my family where if you don't finish your food, it's going to be, like, terrible weather the next day. So mm -hmm. let's kind of put that in Olympic context. So, like, if you don't finish this, we're going to have, like, a metal drought this week. Oh at God. the Olympics. I don't think we will. I think we're going to continue to kill it. <laughs> I think I think you're right. Absolutely you're right. I'm pretty optimistic about it. <laughs> All right. Are you going to finish that pancake or do I have to leave for you to actually start eating faster? Yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs> nice to see you Bye, Sarah. <laughs> Katie, Natasha wants to know if you have any medication on standby. No medication. No medication. No medication. I think I'm just going to walk it off, really. I'm just going to, like, go for a run, maybe. Go for a swim. Good luck. <laughs> Should not have eaten a pancake first. <laughs> I'm such a rookie mistake. Can we have a gut check? How good, I'm good. Right I feel like the nerves of this being televised have hindered my performance slightly, but I think I'm, I'm doing okay. A little slow, but like, I don't know really how you eat this fast without having a death wish. So it appears we have another guest. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm good. Want to tell the people? Hi, everyone. I'm are? Dominic Lamberton. An associate editor, also. Don's in, my, Don's in my Olympic watching buddy. Um, we've been streaming and also working simultaneously, right? Yeah, I've, I'm pretty sure I've held the title of like uh, Chatelaine Olympic number one fan for the past few years. I always stream in my cubicle. <laughs> You're pretty hardcore. Yeah, I, I love the Olympics more than anything. And you were speaking about um, favorite. Oh, yeah. I just want to touch everything so it looks a little bit like I've <laughs> um, done something. I, we were, you were speaking about favorite Olympic moments before with Sarah. Yeah. Um, I am such a sucker for like the CBC's daily recap videos. Hmm. Yeah. Thank well you. done, CBC. Yeah. There's, I, um, we talked about the one that soundtrack to see is Unstoppable. Oh my god. Gets us every I can't time. even talk about it. I watched it like three times before I started eating. It was her pump up video. <laughs> the most amazing thing about that one is that it's it's like the most inspiring events from like one of the early days of in Rio, mm -hmm. and it's like one of the days where all of our women totally like kicked butt, and every single uh, athlete in that video is a woman, and it's just like the most incredible thing. Like I think I'm gonna watch it year round. Me too. It's so good. There's one moment where. Forgive me, I don't know who the swimmer is, but she kind of looks at the camera and she's got these ice green oh. eyes and she just spits out the water. And yeah, like, that's one oh of the synchronized God. divers. I yeah. think it's Rosalyn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rosalyn. Th Thilion? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Excuse my uh, that's right. French accent. Dom, did you play sports as a kid? You know what? I wasn't much of, of an athlete, um, but uh, I, I, I definitely had the heart of an athlete, I think. <laughs> Explain. <laughs> like I definitely like I th I feel the passion and I like feel the drive. I just uh, wasn't blessed with the um, <laughs> the technical the ability. ability. I feel that. Yeah. Luckily, I'm you know you competitive know. in other ways. <laughs> Have you uh, you haven't dug into one of these sandwiches yet, eh? I mean, I'm kind of busy. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have a bite for you. The fried onions in these. You can't. The commenters will look really good. Will riot. I almost drank the syrup. I thought it was little coffees. <laughs> hey, it would be good in your coffee. I think it would. Um, so, what about you? What about like inspirational sport moments in your own life? <laughs> well, beyond this one, <laughs> um, I would say that hmm, this is hard. So, like most Canadian millennials, I was a Timbit. So I played <laughs> uh, rec soccer when I was six and nine. I'm just talking with my mouth full at this point. Yeah, you got it. We all and understand. I played in a tournament and we won five to one and I was the goalie. 
So, and the one goal um, happened when the other sub goalie came in. So I didn't let any goals in, which is Amazing. sweet because like when you're a goalie and you're six, you're basically just like picking dandelions <laughs> and then you get it's all true. the glory. So that was pretty sweet. And like, obviously orange slices are good. Um, slightly off topic question, but as a Timbit, do you get Timbits at halftime instead of like the requisite orange slices? You no, know, I don't ever remember eating a Timbit. <laughs> And that never struck me as weird until this very moment. Yeah. I mean, I think, like, if you want to see a bunch of kids, like, throw up, just give them a bunch of timbits and then run them around. Chase them all. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so that. I was also, um, I should mention, this is not my first foray into competitive eating. Oh, that's right. Um, I was in a pie eating contest in grade nine. And I don't know why. Like, I'm not an athlete in any other sense. I mean, I'm not an athlete in that sense because that's not sports. But, um... I don't know. I, I think like, it is sports, kind of. They play it on. It like, is a test of like they play it on dietary like agility. Netflix. Um, yeah, that's true. The food competition. That's so weird. Yeah. It's like the opposite of working out. I mean, there's training that goes into it, mm -hmm. like as much as anything else. Yeah. I won. I was in a fighting <laughs> contest against a senior football player, and I won. So uh, Wait, sorry, Trevor. Sorry to interrupt. They're saying you're killing it on the eggs. So go. go Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. I yeah. think Phelps would approve. Actually, like. Eggs are usually kind of my nemesis, but they're really good. And I feel good. Feel what good, guys. What do you have in that all night? Um, cheese and chives? Cheese and chives. Yeah. It's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Like, I feel bad you guys can't eat it, but yeah. at the same time, like, I've got work to do. So. <laughs> Diana has a question here. She wants to know, Penny Alexiak won four medals at 16. What were you doing at 16? Oh, good question. <laughs> oh, God, that's loaded. Um, contest? I believe, no, Pieting Contest was at 14. Oh, okay. At 16, I was cutting my own bangs and listening to My Chemical Romance. Right in the passage. And uh, participating in some, like, ill-advised crushes. I don't know. Although, my, one of my crushes still follows me on Instagram. I talk about this all the time. You were saying, yes. I feel like if he's watching right now, I really just shot myself in the foot. But, whatever. How are you feeling? Got check. I don't know, you I'm need, kind like, of like... a back rub? <laughs> that's really nice. <laughs> That's actually helping. Um, I feel okay. I think this is why I'm able to like pack away a lot of food because it doesn't hit me until like I hit a wall at a certain point and I don't see it coming. So I'm about to finish a coffee though. So and uh, you know what I have to say, the thing I'm most worried about is that bowl of grits there. <laughs> it's not happening. It's also not grits. Still, it's cream of wheat. Oh, it's cream of wheat. Yes, yeah, sub. But for all of you who can't see uh, into that bowl, there are some pistachios on top and what looks to be like some cinnamon. It looks delicious. We're gonna pan in on it. Okay. Oh, good. I'm good. We're gonna pan in on the food. <sighs> I'm a little worried about the sandwiches. I think you should dig right in. <laughs> Go for it, Katie. <laughs> I have to finish this one finish omelet. Finish the omelet. You'll feel really good about finishing it. I haven't the forgotten omelet. about you, pancake. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll come back for you. Look she got at the like... size of that pancake. <laughs> you guys, for real. Look at this. How many of them? Yeah, they really didn't is... scrimp on the dough here. It is Let's a, just. Yeah. Uh, how yeah. many pancakes it's, are there? It's a dinner size, a dinner three. plate oh sized God. pancake. Yeah. Like, I really hope I'm not felled by hiccups. Oh. That'd be a disaster. Yeah. Um, have you um, mentioned your favorite personal sport moment? Oh, personal favorite sport moment. You know, as I was saying, I'm not much of an athlete, so mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of those. That's but right. you got a lot of heart. Um, I w I did a dance and. Um, you know, I, I kind of like the, I was saying about the CBC daily recap set to music moment. Yeah. My favorite part of dancing was the end of your recital where we all would go on stage together and do the finale, like set to like an emotional song and then we'd put our hands in the air <laughs> and take a bow. So I think I'm just destined for the podium. You are. And none of the, none of the competition, just the podium moment. Okay, so, deep breath. Yep, yeah, deep breath. Um, do you have a favorite Olympic moment ever? Like you can throw it way back. Yeah, um, like. I've got a lot of those. Um, obviously the Winter Olympics, uh, I think most Canadians really, um, you know, connect with those ones because what do they say? We've got ice in our veins. That's intense. <laughs> but uh, it was pretty special when they were in Vancouver and um, mm. I know we were we were throwing some moments back and forth. Oh God, don't make me talk about this one here. Yeah, that one uh, That one is a favorite of mine. And also, um, well, the, when Canada won the gold in hockey, that was great. And then also when our um, figure skater, um, 
I'm blanking on her name right now, but when she won bronze, like right after her Joni? mother passed away, Joni. Is it Joni? Yeah, it's Joni. Yeah. Um, that was just like beautiful, and I'll never forget it. It was really nice. <laughs> the moment we were just um, referring to was Alex Bilodeau winning gold. Yes. And going to hug his brother, like straight up camp with that. And he was the first medalist in Vancouver, too. Yeah. On home soil. On just, home soil. It's really too much. And then they set it to, um, I believe, by Nikki Yanofsky, which like I can't listen to anymore oh. because just immediate crying. That was the song of the of those Olympics. Yeah. I got pretty sick of it, no offense, Nikki Yanofsky, when it was on because it was just like oh, every commercial. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it's, it's pretty moving stuff. Yeah. Um, well, I'm going to um, bid you farewell and uh, Thanks, good Mom. luck. And uh, I think we Love have, it back I think we have another <laughs> guest here. Do we? Come on down. Thanks, Dom. <laughs> How do you feel right now? Gut check. Like, do you think you can finish all this, Katie? No, for sure, no. Um, just like looking at that pink pancake, pancake makes me a little afraid. Um, I feel like you need to believe in yourself. Yeah, come on. That's true. You this is definitely like, a confidence gold. issue, not a uh, <laughs> not an abundance of food issue. Sadia, she's our digital editor here at Chatelain. So just to recap, if you're tuning in, um, yeah. Katie is trying to eat what Michael Phelps was eating for breakfast in 2008. I just gotta say to you, like. Michael Phelps, look at your life, look at your choices. Like, you don't need to be eating this much. I know you spend a lot of time in the pool, but... How many calories do you think this is? This is, so, overall, mm -hmm. his whole day back in 2008 was, I think, 12,000 calories. Which, like, he could afford because he was in the pool the whole time. Mm -hmm. um, I will probably lie down after this, so... Uh, yeah, it's probably not going to go as well for me. But he's eating a lot better now. Like, he's eating a lot of whole grains, fruits. He's dad now, so he's got, like, posterity to think about. I mean, you were saying he was like 23 when he was he's eating all this food. And he's so... also like six foot and 200 and pounds. So. <laughs> okay, so what were you eating at breakfast for breakfast when you were 23? Not that you were training for anything, but you know, just standing I'm not really a breakfast person, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, yeah, I don't typically feel like eating first thing in the morning, which I know is heresy, but I'll eat like a yogurt or like more, more often like a Tim Hortons mm -hmm. bagel at like 11. So that's like prep me for carbs, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't usually feel hungry until like 10:30 or 11. What about you? I, breakfast of um, choice. I eat the same thing every day, which is yogurt, fruit, and granola. Cause I'm the most boring person on earth. <laughs> Healthy. And I have to Respect. eat by 10 a.m. or like 9 a.m. realistically. Otherwise, I get like really hangry and, and cranky. I'm a, like a very cranky, cranky person when I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Like you're very good. Like you can go all day without eating and be very functional. I should. I sometimes I just forget, but then I get home and I'm like. I've never forgotten to eat Rating my cupboards. I've never been like, I forgot to eat lunch today. No, it's been like, I was angry I didn't eat lunch. <laughs> I was angry all day. <laughs> I was angry all day because I didn't eat lunch. Yeah. So, okay, what's the plan now? How are you going to tackle it? A lot of people are asking that online. Um, the, the viewers really want you to tackle a breakfast sandwich. Of course they do. Yeah, I mean, there's three, there are three of them. Yeah, I feel like I should. I should definitely do that. I should do at least one. What have I even eaten so far? This is like. Can you, had, can you give us an inventory of what you've eaten? Yeah, yeah, and what, um, what there is to go. Okay, I've eaten French toast. Mm -hmm. I've drank coffee. I'm finishing an omelet right now. I eaten about half a pancake, a bite of the cream of wheat, one syrup. So, still a fair bit to go. What's my time check? How long have I been here? Uh, <laughs> like four days. <laughs> like like about twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Twenty five minutes. Okay. Okay, feel good about do it. it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. This is why I can do sports, because like cheering makes me anxious. Like I'd be that good, I'd be like, <laughs> so, too much okay. pressure. When you did that BBC thing, so there's this BBC tool, you put in your height oh, and yeah. your weight and your age, and it tells you like basically who your doppelganger is, your Olympian doppelganger. So who are your Olympian doppelgangers? Or what sport? Um, like, Taekwondo Amazing. and sailing, which like, fair enough. Um, Taekwondo, sailing, and I think judo. Is judo? Yeah. That's, I don't know if anyone's asked you this already. Would you, like, what sport would you actually want? Do you think you would want to compete in? Like, if you could do it over as a toddler, if you could tell your parents, could you just With, like, a different me? body and personality? <clears throat> yeah, I guess so, yeah. So. Man, I don't know. I'm watching gymnastics, though, and it is crazy. Like, yeah, the way they flip around, the way that they have no fear when their head is, like, 
vertical to the ground and they're on a bar, I feel like it's just insane. And those girls are super ripped and they're just flipping around the air. So I don't know, and there's some artistry to it. I'm done this coffee. I don't know why I'm trying to drink it. I'm just trying to fake it now. I'm trying to like eat things. Do you want I already another ate. cup of coffee? There's one more. Yeah, that yeah. would be lovely. Okay, do you want to um... normally eat for breakfast? They want to know. Um, Honestly, commenters, I don't usually eat breakfast. I, well, I mean, my breakfast comes at like 11, I'll eat a bagel or something. I'm like a really bad breakfast person. Oh, but, sugar? Yeah, please. Yeah, okay. You guys are so polite. Like most go for the sandwich, Katie. They want you to go for the sandwich. All right. Tyrants. Um, oh yeah, hey, I already took a bite out of this one. Um, <laughs> small victories. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't usually eat breakfast. I like all breakfast foods though. Although I'm more of a savory breakfast person. Like, Do you like brunch on the weekend? Love brunch. Okay. I love, I love a brunch. But I this most, is pretty much, this is brunch. Yeah, this is like brunch on crack, basically. <laughs> uh, Katie, yes. Leanne wants to know if you have any strategy at this point, because it's, no. it's very freestyle, but is there anything, what's going through your head right now? I'm just staying away from the pancakes. like. And I mean, I guess I could just like have a bite of this, but I don't know anything like puffy. I feel like I should just save till the end when I already have no will to live. It's a French toast. It looks so delicious. Yeah, I ate one. But you ate one, okay? Yeah. What's okay. what's your favorite thing so far? Like the thing that I really like the omelet. Yeah, I have to say it looks really good. It's really good. I don't think Michael Phelps like I don't think his omelets were like. As no, I don't think they were as like skillfully made yeah. as this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I might just leave you to like eat for a while. Okay. I'm suddenly worried. <laughs> just okay, no, like, okay. totally. yeah, like, yeah, no, but I don't think it's a good. <laughs> it's probably fine. I, I think that my We're favorite all Olympian um, moment so far has been um, the Chinese swimmer who came out and said that she had her period and that's why she wasn't performing as well. Because it's just like, yeah, that's real. Like first day, second day, that's hard. You Worst. are like literally hemorrhaging. Like, you know, like I think someone should recognize that. Mm -hmm. So that was yeah, a I mean, like, moment. Period suck. I can't imagine like I can barely walk when I have my period, let alone like eat all this lovely food. <laughs> so uh, yeah, respect. I can't flip around on the beam. I'm just gonna have some coffee while I talk about periods. Um, Katie, what sport do you think you'd be most uh, able to complete following this breakfast? Gemma wants to know. Um, yoga, specifically child's pose. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there a sport where you just, you just like lie down? Well, isn't that your shavasana yoga? Yeah, yeah, yeah yoga. Yeah, yeah. Although, is yoga a sport? Uh, no. Cheerleading is a sport. Particularly. Apparently. <laughs> what? Yeah, you could do shavasana. You can just lie there. Yeah, you could do that. Could do like, I don't know. No, Pilates is too abdominal. I was gonna say I could just do that rolling Bob thing. Bob yeah. Bob luge. Oh my god, I would be so fast going down that chute. I mean, you could also probably like run a fair distance, like tomorrow because you're really carb loading right now. Yeah. That can you help can you. float pretty well in the pool maybe. Yeah. If there's maybe just like, like competitive floating, competitive lying down, yeah. competitive crying, anything like that. So I, I had told Katie that uh, she should keep her afternoon free after this, but then we realized that we have a mandatory training session we all need to be in. So you have a huge meeting. So she can't just lie down, unfortunately. It'll be like high She's school when really I pretended well. to pay attention. I feel like you're not eating fast enough. Yeah, Katie, Tara wants to know uh, what your favorite food here is so far. Um, love the omelet. Gotta say, like, everything's really good. Nothing comes out of the Chatelaine kitchen that's not, like, amazing. So, yeah, sandwiches are pretty dense, so that's tough. Um, <laughs> but yeah, omelet for sure. I, I do like savory, so. Do you like eggs? Um, I do. I like scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. Scrambled eggs are my favorite. Okay, so omelet makes sense. Omelet makes like sense. It, yeah. yeah, like bacon, but... Okay. That's absent. All right, I'm gonna leave. I'm you starting to get a little worried. To be yeah, I'm gonna leave you to eat because I feel like I'm just dis distracting okay. you. These lights are also making me kind of shiny, I so like I just feel like this is like a really just, like, attractive visual for everyone. Um, actually, it looks really great. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And the Canada shirt is all it's all working. So go, Katie. I Thanks. believe in you. Bye, Sadia. You should believe in yourself. I do. Believe in yourself. I just need some Nikki and Nowski to play. And How's that syrup, the Canadian maple syrup? That's good. Yeah. Good? Someone's asking about the syrup? Yes. <laughs> it's a hundred percent pure maple syrup. I feel like I'm on a commercial. I need to stop with the sandwich for a second. The sandwich is killing me. I'm gonna finish this pancake so I can accumulate plates. Yeah. This is how it looks better. 
the just objects. Like, 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 just fast track, like, just go for it. No. <laughs> one, one dish, just go for one dish. I'll try with French toast. I'm honestly, yeah. oh, maybe the omelet. Yeah, so then it's done. Can we have a gut check? How do you feel right now, Katie? It's sort of hit me a little bit, to be honest. Yeah. Um, the thing is, like, there's no fruit. It's like, well, there's a tomato. It's just like a lot of puffy beige stuff, True. which is like pretty intense for the system. Should we pan on, on the on the food just to see how Katie's done so far? Kind of pathetic, actually. But I don't know. Yeah, it's. I'm making quick work of this coffee, though. You are. Does he have coffee in his breakfast? Is it part of his breakfast? Two coffees. Two coffees. Okay. Yeah. All right, pancake. It's me and you. We've got two empty plates and a coffee cup. Yeah. All right. I feel like, um... Should we spread out the plates? Yeah. Oh yeah, see the, my wake of destruction? Oh, sorry. So, okay. So how how to spread them? Like maybe just right there. Okay. Like like the empty one. Oh, the empty. One. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. Good idea. Excuse me. All right, here we go. Got two plates. There we go. I was wondering what you were talking about. Okay. A oh, little more. We'll just move it over here so you guys can get a good look at. Oh, oh. Okay. What I mean. Yeah. There we go. I'm thinking like I can finish the French toast. Well, yeah. Finish French toast omelet. Eat, 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 eat. You're killing me, Smalls. That's Sarah Bosfeld. Please harangue her on Twitter for me. This is one of those long, long silences we talked about. I'm just gonna continue eating. I think you just gotta pack it away. Yeah. Just go for it. Nicola, you wanna come over here? Chat? No. All right. <laughs> And they're saying just enough with, just don't even bother with the forks. Just use your hands if you need to. No. This isn't, this isn't the jungle, people. <laughs> I'm a polite lady. If you finish that sandwich, I will come chat with you. Sandwiches are honestly killing me. Can you eat both of those? No. no. That's not going to happen. Like, I love you, but no. Can you empty another plate? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to eat this. I'm, like, creatively visualizing... Yeah. The plates I'm gonna finish, this is gonna be done. The omelet is gonna be done, and the two French toast is gonna be done. Okay, if you, when you finish that omelet, I will come talk to you. Okay, we may also have to conclude before I'm done, but you can just finish, like fill in the blanks and just like imagine me finishing this. I don't think so, Katie. No. <laughs> you guys are potatoes all I of a sudden. we have enough battery to keep going, yeah, so. Oh, sweet. All the time I'm tomorrow. so glad. Something very weird about like eating. Karen is saying you gotta swim after this. Let's go. It's like dance moms. It really is like dance moms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would like to swim after this actually. We don't have a pool in this building. Right? Uh, we don't. We do not. But I'm sure there's one nearby somewhere. Oh, yeah. It is, it's raining. You go for a <laughs> You're just gonna lie down in a puddle. <laughs> Cry a little. I like, I need some pump up jams right now. That'd be sweet. Oh, I want to ask the commenters do they have any eating music? <laughs> uh, someone said, I have the tiger. Nice, yeah, I listened to that this morning. Laura. Good call. Laura's saying, I believe in you. <laughs> I feel so loved right now, it's weird. Yeah, you are. Okay, Katie, can you tell us a bit about, again, how you prep for this for those who weren't here earlier? Did you skip breakfast? Mm -hmm. What'd you do? My, my usual MO is to kind of skip breakfast, so I had about half a green apple and um, a coffee, dark roast from Tim's, and then I just prayed a little <laughs> to the six god, so I listened to Drake. Smart. Um, um, yeah. Would you like some musical accompaniment? Is that? Yes. Dom would really like us to put on Nikki Yanofsky, so it's going to happen. Oh awesome. my god. Awesome. Okay, music <laughs> is going to happen. This is reached like peak ridiculous, just when I think. Okay, but then you have to like power through during the song. Can if you I tell me one more time yes. to eat faster, <laughs> I'm going to throw a pancake faster, at you. Eat faster, Thunderwood? Yeah. It's a lot of food, guys. 
Even for me. Noted eating champion. Of the world. I don't know about that. Well, Sometimes when today. I watch... <laughs> today, yeah. I'm definitely eating the most of any journalist on Twitter right now. So, yeah. come at me. I feel like breathing is key, I'm realizing. Apples I mean, it, it's usually bananas. key, but... What? Apples and Bananas by Raffi. Oh, nice. Raffi! I love Raffi. Baby Beluga? Yeah, Bare Naked Ladies. I can't see what song that is. Mm. Uh, I feel like it... What Bare Naked Ladies song? Oh, if I have... I feel like I'm not, like, quite in my body right now. Mm -hmm. Like... Is this how you achieve nirvana? It's just like eating way too much and then having an out of body experience. How's, how's, your, how's your gut? Like, how's your stomach right now? Um, I'm not really communicating with it. I just okay. kind of want to like let it, let it go, let it do its thing. I don't know. I don't know. This is like a weird no man's land. I definitely feel like something is registering. <laughs> Does the food still taste good? I'm not even paying attention anything? to what I'm eating right now. Okay. Yeah, this is yummy though. Like. It's yummy. Yeah. Lots of chocolate chips, big ones too. Yeah, a lot of. I haven't quite reached like the sad part. Like you haven't hit the wall yet, as someone's suggesting. Yeah. There is no wall. The wall There's is in no your wall. mind. Okay. <laughs> Just read a book. Just like aphorisms from comp for competitive eaters. I want to be an inspiration, much like Penny Alexiak, to young Canadian girls everywhere. You are, Katie. This is your moment. This is my moment. This would be my moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of food. <laughs> you are making Canada proud and hungry, says... Uh, You're still Hank hungry? Moody. Who? Yes, Hank Moody. So, oh, we've got music. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear it from there. I can hear it. I'm not like shoving pancakes in my ears. This is easily one of the weirdest moments of my life. My life is pretty weird. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna start crying. Actually, this might work better because I like to cry and eat at the same time. <laughs> you did not see that. <laughs> the laughing is gonna hurt my stomach. I'm surprised anyone still wants to eat after looking at this. Have I been eating this pancake for like 25 minutes? It still smells delicious. It is delicious. Like, people are gonna eat this food, by the way, I should say. This will get eaten, no matter what. I can't promise a sandwich because I'm trying to do something here, but yeah, by all means, come by and visit. So, I don't know if you can hear me over the uh, over the anthemic singing. I just love the crowd of people outside. I feel like a caged animal, but a happy animal and a full animal. <sighs> we haven't even reached the peak of the song yet. I remember why I didn't like the song. I believe, I believe, I believe. <laughs> do you do you believe, Kate? I believe. I believe. We believe in you. Right, guys? Show us some hearts. Another guest. Yeah, hearts. Another guest. I'm just gonna turn this down. Because we have a guest. Carly? Hi Katie. How are you? I'm good. Ladies I'm and gentlemen, Carly Fortune. Our deputy Hi. editor here at Chatelaine. 
my boss. I felt like I needed to lend you some some moral support. Yeah, I appreciate it. I and I also wanted to ask you a question. Yes. Um. So you were bragging that you could eat Michael Phelps's breakfast. It was no problem. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about that brag right now? Um. I'm feeling humbled. Honestly, I feel humbled. But uh, I don't know. We're the game's not over yet. You know, I'm still giving it 110 percent, keeping my stick on the ice. <laughs> We'll see, it's not over. Like, what are you dreading eating the most right now on this table? Um, I think the sandwiches, honestly. They're really packed tight. Not the cold egg? Like, the no. egg, we've been here for a while. You've been here for a while I've been now. here for, a, yeah, for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, the pancakes are really scary. Like, I think they double portioned it. Um, they're so, very yeah. thick. They're very thick, but they're yummy, again. Um, I bet to finish one, so just one, oh my god. Do you have any sports moments that you'd like to share? Did you play sports? Um, I was very competitive in t-ball. Okay. When I was Respect. a child. Yeah, yeah. That was probably the peak of my athletic career. Mm -hmm. And I had a, a brief stint of being good at volleyball in mm -hmm. grade school. But that was it. Nice. Yeah. 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 We have a question from Amira. She wants to know what your go-to big cry food is. Oh man, you gotta get some Miss Vicky's salt and malt vinegar. It's so good. Cheetos are when you're having like a really bad day, like flaming hot, like don't even come near me. That's like the worst day of my life. Um, I don't know, like I'm not really a sweets person, but I know people like Little Debbie and stuff like that. I'm like a chip person or fries. I don't know. I'm a mostly happy person though. <laughs> I try to live on the bright side. Then you can still talk about food like this. Though. Yeah, I'm like not. I'm not really here right now. I've gone somewhere else. <laughs> you have a lineup of guests outside, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let the next one in. Okay. Good luck, Katie. Thanks for stopping by. I'm rooting for you. I'll lend you my maternity pants. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> if you just like lend me a couch, that'd be sweet. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I'm here to make sure that no one actually pressured you into doing this. You're actually doing this of your own free will. I am. Okay, good. Steve Mesh, everybody, head of publishing. Hey. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine, thanks. I'm a little concerned for you. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. <laughs> everything is great. And, yeah. What's your favorite thing so far? I like the omelette. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. I really like the omelette. Excellent. Um, pancakes are really good, too. I would offer you some, but... No, no, that's against the rules. Yeah, I know. I'm not if a only you could offer you a lifeline. That's true. I would have trouble with one of these sandwiches, I think. Yeah, the sandwiches are pretty scary. I don't, uh... I don't know. They look really good, though. Are I you? love the fried Oh, onion. they do, yeah. They're beautiful. Are you time limited in this thing? No, I think we're just gonna go until the battery runs out or I pass out. I'm not quite sure which. <laughs> Whatever happens first. Whatever happens first. How much battery's left? Like 90%. There's oh yeah, you're in trouble. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I don't think I could be here all afternoon as much as I am committed to my job, which I should, I'd like to say on camera with you here. <laughs> what is, yeah, so this is a good time to mention that. Yeah, love this job. Shows real, this shows real commitment to yeah. the job. Yes. This is what you went into journalism for originally? Uh, no, uh, I originally wanted to win a Pulitzer, but I still think I have a, this I have a shot. It. This could be it. This yeah. could be it. No, I don't know. I just like I love writing. Like writing funny things, oddly <laughs> enough. Like a like a good spectacle. So you, well, you've got one sure. here. We've yeah. achieved spectacle. Um, were you an athlete? In uh, your not a good younger? one. No, not no. certainly not one that ever required eating anything remotely like this. Yeah. But well, as long as you're okay. I I'm just okay. Want, good. You're feeling all right so far. Yeah, I feel okay. How much have you plowed through? So so one omelet. Oh, and I'm about to, I'm about to finish this pancake. An omelet, a pancake, French toast. Some like a half of a half of the sandwich, cream of wheat, cream of wheat. a couple bites. Yeah. I don't know about cream of wheat. They Do made you normally it. Eat it? No. No. I've never so had for... it actually. This is the first time for me actually. It's the first time I'm eating this. <laughs> so did you just like boast this in the newsroom at one point and people called you on it? We were talking about it last week in the context of the Olympics and I was like, oh, I can really pack food away, which is true. <laughs> just true. Um, it's one of my talents. But then I like. <laughs> Then they kind of doubled down and said, well, do you want to do this? And I was like, yeah, that's no problem. And now just seeing it all together is a little bit intimidating. It's a little so. daunting. Yeah. Well, listen, if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Yeah. But I don't think there really is. That breaks the rules, isn't it? Yeah, I think oh so. Maybe, God. like, alert the medics if you <laughs> okay. have any on staff. That would right. be great. We'll do that. Good Thanks luck. You. Thank See you. Soon. Thanks for stopping by. All right. <laughs> Steve Mesh. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Thank you! Not any time! Really? See you soon. Bye. How's that plate going? I can't see from your water glass. Um. Oh, it's almost done. I have one more bite. Oh, that's pretty good.
<laughs> oh my God. Nadine says, thank you for doing this for our country. Canada is proud to have you represent. Woo! That was Yay! like, that was pretty intense. We're so proud of you. How are you? <laughs> yes. That's nice. We're yeah. We're all so hungry watching you eat. I feel kind of delirious, like, yeah, I feel good. Like, not like pass out delirious, because like, I wouldn't pass out. Can we pan, on, pan in on the food, do you think, guys? Yeah. See how There's just doing. so much we food. We almost finished another plate. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna roll up the sleeve, maybe. I'm just kidding. So yeah, now that the head of publishing has come by, I feel like it's a peak of the day. Um, do you mind sharing your age, Katie? Linda would like to know. I'm 28. Yep. 1987. It was a good year for gluttonous eaters, I guess. Who else was born in my year? I don't know. My friends. <laughs> yeah, I'm 28. Feeling my age a little bit right now. You're doing great. Okay, well, I just finished a pancake, so that's not bad, I guess. That's great. You were worried about those. I was. Still am a little, but I'm gonna try another omelet. When is that meeting? <laughs> I know. I was just thinking. I think it's at one thirty, so you got a good half hour. Okay. That's exciting. Yeah. I feel like consistency is key. It is. It is. Just just keep eating. Chew well. Just like Dory said. Yeah. <laughs> just keep eating. Someone's saying that Michael Phelps says this is all a myth. What do you think of that, Katie? I mean, there are enough articles saying this is actually what he eats. It was a USA Today article mm -hmm. stating that. Yeah, I think um, he either did eat this or some, some facsimile of this diet, so... I don't know, he's probably just covering because this is a really gross amount of food. Yeah, that makes sense. We believe. You guys are so, um, such good coaches. Uh, where did we get all this food from? Well, the Chatelaine Chate Kitchen and... <coughs> Coffee. Do you know where to get it? Um, sh yeah, we shopped at the grocery store. Crosby was born at 87. Nice. Who else? I feel like there's a lot of famous people. Amira wants to know that Zac Efron also. Ooh. And Kesha. Oh, nice. Ooh. I love Kesha. Kesha and Rhonda. Rhonda Rousey? Yeah. Rhonda Rousey? Yeah. Sweet. Sorry. So many jacked people. Yeah. Uh, what is your totally favorite food to eat? Okay. <laughs> this is a serious question. I love macaroni and cheese. Someone asked me this the other night, so I kind of have a canned answer. But macaroni and cheese is by far my favorite because it's really hard to screw up. And it always tastes really good. So, yeah, I gotta go with mac and cheese. Um, I like fruits and vegetables, despite what this uh, what this table looks like right now. Love fruits, love vegetables, love artichokes. I can eat like a whole jar of green olives. Like, I'll just go and talk about all my favorite foods. Um, Jamie Cowan has a um, suggestion oh, for you. Idea, yeah. He would like you to maybe attempt to put the omelet between the two pieces of French toast. No, <laughs> I am not doing that. Um, I don't know, like I'm not a sweet and savory person. Like I don't really like Chicago mix. So it's really just a personal preference. It's not, um, it's true. I don't want to spoil the food. That's the real answer. Yeah. What else we can find He's a child now, a baby named Boomer. Come in. Let's come in. I'm just popping in for a minute. Let's pop in. Leanne George, our editor in chief. Yay! Hi. Hi. Wow, there's still a lot of food here. Yeah, I know. Like so much food. Like, like food for do it. six. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little much. One, two, three, four, five. Five. So we're at breakfast for five right now. Yeah. Basically. Feels like I've already eaten that, but I haven't. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You're doing really well. I've been watching and you've been really consistent. Your pace has been good. I think that's the key. Consistency is key. And also like periodic hydration. 
Yeah. And breathing. I was worried about how much coffee you were consuming at the beginning. Yeah. I thought that was a, yeah, it was an interesting choice. It was choice. a dicey move. Yeah. I did think so, because I think, you know, coffee can, I don't know, coffee kind of can fill you up. Mm -hmm. So you had a lot of that going on. So I was mm -hmm. a little, because that's not part of the breakfast, is it? It is. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay, I take coffee. it back. I take it back. So I'm like, I'm going to clear this dish, and that will count as a dish. Right. Do we know how many calories this is? Sean wants to know. It's like a billion. Like a no, billion? it's probably like 5,000, I'm guessing. Because the other half of the day is, I think, half. So have, have we gone over what's in the sandwiches yet? Because we've talked a lot about the sandwiches, but has anyone... Yeah, so um, fried egg, marble cheese, lettuce, tomato, I think it's sourdough bread, puffy white bread. Yeah. Oh, and fried really onions. Good. It's intense. I think I have to finish half a sandwich to really like call this a victory. Was that in the, um, his spread onions is specified, or mm -hmm. is this our sandwich? No, this is, fun? um, this is the Phelps special. Right. So. Well, we're going to have to be, be sure to post some of our Chatelaine, some of these recipes online after, so you can make your own, like, yeah. at home can make their Do own it yourself Phelps breakfast, home. because this is completely, um, something that you might want to consider, people might want to consider mm -hmm. for themselves. Yeah. You should make this whole breakfast at home for yourself. Mm -hmm. With some friends, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, have you, I'm good. good. Friends. Have yeah. you considered, have you considered, um, like a, a sandwich? People really want me to use sandwiches. One person No, I mean, I mean, I mean like a, like a pancake sandwich. Like, have you considered, because right now I just wonder if one of the things that is a bit intimidating is the number of plates. So I'm wondering if you maybe took one dish uh, or like three dishes and, and stacked it and stacked it into one dish if that might psychologically help I don't know I think like the closer they get to eye level the more intimidating it'll be <laughs> right. so if I gotta spread them out it's like divide and conquer I think okay. it's like just a visual trick I but I see it. what you're saying I get it a lot of plates could be intimidating but I think it's more like the height that could be an issue right I get it <laughs> I've Good. thought a lot about this <laughs> well you're doing really really well thanks we're all very proud of you. Everyone's rooting for you. Actually, I think the whole country is rooting for you. Yes, the whole Thanks, country. Thanks, everyone. I appreciate yeah. it. It's so, on Facebook watching. That's I'll right. Let you down. That's right. I will let you down. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, Katie, you won a pie contest, right? So yeah. Dominic yeah. is asking how much pie you ate when you It was a single pie, but you had to finish it quickly. But it was a big pie, like it was a pie-sized pie. Size pie. Yeah. yeah, sort of like one of those, well, like two of those. Yeah, pancakes. like one of these pancakes, these pie-sized pancakes that I'm supposed to eat. So that's more of a sprint, and this is kind of like an endurance. This is a marathon. Test. To quote Ice Cube, life ain't a track meet. It's a marathon. And I'm not going to say the next line, because it's rude. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I'm going to pop in and, and uh, wish you luck. I think you can, I think you can do it. Thanks, Leon. Okay. Do you really think she can do it? No. <laughs> I totally don't think she can do it. But she no. said she could do it, and I, I want to believe you. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a veil chirp. <laughs> you're doing well, though. Look at this. You're, you're actually I'm still eating a lot of food this morning. More than I usually would. Jay, Just a lot. What would you normally eat? Uh, so, uh, someone wants In a to day? Know. Yes. Jay wants to know. Depends on the day, Jay. Um, I don't know. I mean, I always have a bagel. I'm not even going to, like, I'm not going to fudge you. Like, I eat a bagel, like, probably once a day. I like a sandwich. I don't want a pancake sandwich, but... Like a sandwich, I usually have like a salad for lunch or whatever is on the free table here. <laughs> Probably some like candies. They're always coming out of the kitchen with like cookies they're testing. So I don't know, I'm not the pinnacle of health as you could probably guess. Uh, but usually like dinner, I don't know. It really depends. But I do really want to underscore that I love a vegetable. Love a good stir fry. I really like pasta. Like I think I was like born <coughs> Italian. But like, like secretly Italian, but like biologically Irish, I guess. I don't know. Nice, uh, Katie. Does this feel like an all-you-can-eat buffet or worse? So I love an all-you-can-eat buffet. buffet. Yeah. There's like an implicit challenge in that, which I like. Um, I don't know. Like I really feel like you're, you're testing your limits a little bit. I don't know. Like I really like buffets, but this is just something entirely different. Mainly because like the internet is watching. <laughs> Usually it's just like my immediate family. So yeah, I don't know. It's about the same. I'm a little sleepy right now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> How does your stomach feel? Can we have a gut check? It doesn't feel bad. That's the weird thing. Like, I don't feel bad. I just am, like, slowing down. Okay. Yeah, like, I'm gonna finish this omelet for sure. I'm eyeing that French, French toast, too. Did I? Oh, there it is. I was like, did I eat two French toasts? I did not. 
I got too cocky. Yeah, you can continue working on this omelet. I'm just like sleepy. Yeah, you're starting to... I feel sick. Oh, this cream of wheat is just terrorizing me on this side. I'm also talking a lot, so that's not helping. You're doing great. Thanks, water. <laughs> not food. <laughs> Go easy on it. I just had a couple sips. I love how everyone's coming in just like, oh, remember when you said you could do this? <laughs> I'm like, thanks team. They're gonna eat all this afterwards anyway, so. It's really gonna be a team effort. What is this oh, cheese? Alexandra's rooting for you from Italy. Oh my God, Italy. Gator. Oh my God, hi Alex. Alex works with us. She is awesome. That's so funny. It's a time difference, six hours. So she's yeah. watch, eating her dinner and watching me eat breakfast, brunch, really. Lunch, and, and dinner. dinner. Lunch <laughs> yeah. Friday. It all blurs together now. I need a moment. What a good day this is. Thank you for sharing this with me. By the way, if you have any more questions, even non food related questions are, are welcome. So, yeah, feel free to. Uh, well, Christina has a message for you, our executive editor. You can say free aloud. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's long. It's amazing. Do you want me to do it? You do it. Sure. Okay. We have a question that's apparently it. actually an essay. Mm -hmm. It's quite an essay. Okay. I'm going to read it. Is this like a desert island question? No, it's a, it's from Christina. Probably one of our editors. Hang on, i got to find it. It smells delicious over here. <laughs> it I is. Over it. I feel like it's such an ingrate for not being able to finish this. If only I were... More powerful. Or maybe like I worked out at all. I'd be hungrier. There you go. Oh, I can't find it. Oh, it's Nicola. Okay. Haley, can you? Yes. Um, Nicola works on our art team. Keep I, going. I will. You're pretty close so on that I'm gonna, omelet. I'm I know. Copy and paste it and email it to you. Okay, that sounds awesome. Yeah. How long is this question? So many. So um, many it's more of a pep talk than it is a question. Oh, I love this. She wouldn't come so in here it herself. So bathed in light. And you can just eat as Nicola reads to you. Yeah. I want Dom to come back. That back rub is so nice. Thanks. <laughs> it just feels like so comforting. All right, there it is. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. This is coming to you from Kyle Chandler as Coach Eric Taylor. Oh my God, my favorite okay. show Friday Night Lights. 40,000 people out there have written us off but there are a few out there who still believe in you. <laughs> I'm actually gonna start crying. We will crying never eating. give up on you. They're out there. Guys. I want those people in your mind. Those are the people I want in your heart. It's so long. We've changed a couple words in here, like from man to woman, okay, ready? Every woman at some point in their lives is going to lose a battle. She's going to fight and she's going to lose. But what makes her a woman is that amidst that battle, she does not lose herself. Keep going, you have to eat. I'm still eating. <laughs> the game's not over, the battle's not over. So let's hear it one more time together. Clear eyes. Full hearts, can't, can't lose. lose. <laughs> Should be full stomachs. <laughs> full stomachs. Clear eyes, full stomachs, can't lose. Christina, I appreciate your kind words. Yeah. As channeled by, well, Kyle Chandler's words as channeled by you. I'm starting to like lose focus a little bit. Like my eye is just like. Mm. It's okay, you be you. you I mean, it's okay. I feel really in my element right now. I think if you finish that omelet, you're almost halfway. I'm gonna finish these French toasts. Okay. Some color high water. I'm gonna finish these French toasts. I almost swore. I mean, <laughs> you kind of did swear. Um, what? That's fine. Hell? That's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I get fired. <laughs> No, the French toast are the smallest things on the table. I think that's a good... It's like... And then I can do the cream of wheat. Because that will just be like sad home stretch. Like you, when you're sad, you want to eat like... BuzzFeed is saying, uh, Katie, look, you got this. This battle is one, one bite at a time. Who said that? Elamine from BuzzFeed Canada. Elamine! Oh you my god, that's... One <laughs> bite at a time! I love BuzzFeed. Obviously. <laughs> Okay, come on! I'm like, how much food can you, you eat? You love everything. Eat that omelet. I do. I feel so full of love and also eggs. <laughs> Carbohydrates. Eat! 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 Eat!
sharing stresses me out so much. Sorry. You have like, like three bites left on that plate. Come on. Three. Yeah, no. there's like three big bites left on that plate. Okay, eat that one. It's put on your People are just like, forever. I'm basically like, you guys can't see this, but I'm in like a glass cube right now. So I kind of feel verging on zoo animal, which is appropriate. <laughs> That's my cue. It's all you, my darling. Flick, bye. It's gonna get messy. I'm just gonna start hiding it or like burying it in my shirt. BuzzFeed Canada is rooting for you. So That's so good. nice, BuzzFeed. <laughs> I love BuzzFeed. So Spread great. the cream of wheat on the French toast, says Lauren Parker. Lauren, that's my best friend. She's seen me Hi, eat. Lauren. She's seen me eat many a brunch. Actually, I'm usually with her with her when I'm eating brunch. So Lauren is actually messaging me from New York. She's working there now. Nice. It's getting a little personal. I miss her, Aww. especially in moments like these when I have no one to binge eat with. <laughs> yeah, think of this as a big binge. Just eat. Yeah. Like, this is just like a regular down. Tuesday. These eggs are like torturing <laughs> me. Sorry. Yeah, there's nothing. Hmm. She says she misses you too, Lauren. That's so nice. She's eating along with you. Yeah, this is nice because I kind of feel like solidarity. Everyone misses Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> we all miss you, Lauren. Buzzfeed misses you. Michael Phelps misses you. And then there's others who are saying, please eat faster. <laughs> they gotta go do things. <laughs> I mean, this is very important, okay? Yes, so like, is. you guys gotta commit to me if I'm committing to this. Should we put it all in a blender and smoothie this baby? What do you think? No, okay, so no. I will just give you an anecdote. Less, okay. less talking, more eating, I know. I had jaw surgery a couple years back to correct a bad bite, and so I was on smoothies for like a month. Like I was oh, eating okay. only smoothies. Like I can't look at Ensure, can't really even look at lemon lime Gatorade. I tried to blend a Big Mac. Actually, my dad tried oh. to blend a Big Mac, which is just like obviously disgusting. I'm like ruining the punchline, but um, yeah, it was sad times. Like, don't blend food, because it's not like food. Right. It's like sad food. Sad like wet food. Anyway, Lessons. this has been a PSA for don't get jaw surgery. It was very inspiring. Yeah, I feel pretty inspiring right now. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, like, I don't really feel bad. I just feel like my eyes wanna close. Slow and steady. Yeah, slow and steady. Wins a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I'm gonna take my hair down. I, I heard you needed a, a background. Tom! <laughs> right, I love what, you. Like, what, is this, does this help at all? No. <laughs> no, no, that doesn't help. I like tense this my throat. Tom's back. Hi. Tom, I feel like we didn't talk. Tom. Hey! <laughs> When you put your hand on me, I choked a little. Okay. Maybe we'll stop with, Maybe the, we'll, with, we'll the, kill the, back with the context. Um, what didn't we talk about? What oh. other moments? Oh. You have a crumb on your face. A crumb? You have a crumb on your face. Oh. What's on your nose? I didn't need anything. You have. Easy. Um, what else have we talked about? Um, so many things. I don't know. I don't even feel like in, I feel like I'm in a weird place where like space and time have collapsed on each other and like <laughs> all there are is eggs. I feel like um, we can, this could maybe, this is maybe going to start the what do Olympians eat movement again. Like let's, let's find out what Penny eats. Let's find out what. Yeah, I do want to know what Penny eats. And then, you know, this could be a weekly series for you. That's true. <laughs> I don't think week, so. Next week, I think this is a once now. in a lifetime opportunity, really. I don't want to like ruin the magic by stretching out the joke too long. Oh, that's true. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> I'm so what, desperately what, sleepy. Do you right have now. a long to do list this afternoon? Like, what are you hoping I have to a meeting. achieve this afternoon? I actually have to learn in that meeting, so that's kind of tough. Can you take notes for me? Uh, yeah. When is that meeting? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what time it or I'll day it is. I'll be there. Um, Take notes for me too. <laughs> yeah, let's all skip the meeting. Lou day. Reschedule. Yeah, uh, Steve Mage. I hope you're still not watching. <laughs> uh, Laura wants to know about your baseball career, Dom. How oh, cute. Mine? Yeah. Do you play baseball? You got two but, parts on that. That's Sarah true. Wants to know too. Okay. Well, I am on a softball team. Shout oh, out to yeah. the Starfish. Um, I went but, to one of Dom's games. She's very impressive. Oh. No. <laughs> you I, are. I did get hit 
in the mouth this season. So uh, you know, it's been it's been a bit of a tough season for me. We don't want to. Let's not focus on that. <laughs> we want to focus on the task at hand. I want to focus on something else. <laughs> what else can we talk about? Well, Laura says the meeting is at two. Bring on the pancakes. Yeah, you Everyone. guys are welcome to the pancakes. I'm not even going near those. No, no, no. She, no I think she meant she wants you to try one. No. Everyone. I I'm going to do the French toast. Look That's at like how well you're doing, though. Like, really, you're getting I'm not this. doing badly. Well, well you now have had some one on of food? everything. Let's take a pan. I feel like I've been honestly eating this omelet forever. It's getting, like, getting cold. I just don't want to, like, ruin my... That for a while. I don't want to ruin my pace because I feel like then I'll just stop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'll hit no, a wall. You just need to keep going. Right now, I'm just dancing in front of the wall. <laughs> how, would, it. how would everyone feel if I took a bite of a sandwich? You can't. That would disqualify me. Okay. It would. We don't yeah. want to do we that. We don't have any official Not rules, really, yet. but... We don't want the any The first rule is Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club! Breakfast Club! This should be a web series. I have the hiccups. Oh my god, I have the hiccups. I do feel like, um... After the omelet? Well, do you have a plan for after the omelet? I'm gonna kill these French toasts. Okay, that's good. But I was gonna say, I, you need to kill a sandwich because you've killed one of everything else. I just don't think I can. It's not for like, for, like lack of faith in myself. It's just like I know as soon as I eat a sandwich, it's over. Do we have a time limit? We don't have a time limit. Gemma wants to know. We don't. I mean, I could feasibly be here all night, which would actually be nice because like I think I could do it. She if could it do like, it if she had all day. If it was five hours, I could do this. But unfortunately, we have a meeting. So this well, really isn't my fault. It's not for a while, and Nicola just went to get me my lunch, so we're good. <laughs> oh, so we're like fully camping out. I'm gonna yeah. put the fork down for a second. I'm just gonna like. Are you sure? I need to stretch. Yeah, you, you know stretch? what? Because I'm kind of like slouching, right? Yeah. So that can like that compress help. your stomach yeah. capacity. There have been a lot. There's been lots of feedback from the commenters not to drink water anymore. It takes up like room and it, it fills the little crevices. I know. I know, guys. It's just, I just want to ingest something that's not food for like a brief moment. Yeah. Oh, I still have syrup. Deep breathing? Oh, lots of syrup. Can you like douse that guy a lot? Yeah, I just want to get myself motivated. Like, douse, douse. keep my eye on the horizon, <laughs> which is French toast. Oh, it's pooling. It's pooling. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Let's get okay, this, so like, I had to next design. Deadline. No, you know what? Let's ask you. If you had to design a Dom version of Michael Phelps's breakfast. Okay. This would not okay. be. This is lovely food, but this would not be my spread if I had to pick. Be like 100% more waffles. Okay, so I'm uh, an Olympic swimmer and I am designing my breakfast. Sorry guys. I am going to. I'm so into the look of these sandwiches. I'm definitely gonna have one of these sandwiches. They're super good. This I'm. Is dense. I'm probably gonna do like a. If. Like, probably some sort of, like, yogurt parfait. I love yogurt. I have it every day. I love it. Okay. <laughs> I, I'll accept that. Um, or maybe, like, a smoothie bowl, you know, just for something. Because you were you were complaining about a lack of fruit, which I agree with, because you want kind of that that refreshing mm -hmm. palate cleanser. Yeah, like a crudite. Is that just vegetables? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> um, or, like, maybe a fruit kebab. Yeah. Give me some of that pineapple. Pineapple. Berries, I think, too. Berries, yeah. Like Are a too blackberry. Dense. Yeah. Pineapples, blackberries, orange. I like an orange. Oh, yeah. An orange would be, like, light and refreshing. Um, okay, what? sorry. I'm hijacking this. Even. No, no. Um, I mean, if we're just talking favorite brunch foods, like, I love a huevos rancheros. I That's love. what I'm going to pretend this is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get some avocado in there, some salsa. Um... Yeah, I think I, I would definitely do that. I like I said, the sandwich, nothing too sweet. Maybe like one of these pancakes, and and definitely some more fruit. Bacon? No bacon. What? I mean, if we're just Get having dream brunch, sure. Oh. But if I'm a swimmer, that bacon's gonna no. hold me back. We're not pretending we're swimmers. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're just pretending like it's just a lot of food. Okay, so what's your all time? Maybe you don't want to talk like favorite I talk brunch about foods, food. but li like, what are your favorite brunch foods? Bacon, bacon, huevos. I like a nice Benedict. Yeah. But like not with spinach or whatever, not salmon. Like oh. I like it with bacon. Like like female bacon? No. Like I'm not a fan of female bacon. bacon. Strip bacon. What kind of Canadian are you? A very patriotic one. <laughs> um, wait. Yeah. Just bacon. Yeah. 
Some scrambled, but not too much. Not as much as this. <laughs> Have I eaten two omelets? I think you are sweating a little. I am. I am a little. It's getting a little uh, intense over here. It is hot in here. It's, it is really hot, hot in here. I have lights on me. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. Do these like give off heat? <laughs> I th they feel like they do. I feel like they do. I'm kind of blind. So if we were going to mod, let's talk about how we would mod this breakfast for a Canadian swimmer. So like this syrup, if it's table syrup, would be maple. Um, yeah. This sandwich would have pea meal bacon in it. Yes. Um... Yes. What other Canadian breakfast foods are there? Breakfast poutine? I was just going to say, have you guys ever had breakfast poutine? Share it in the comments if you have. <laughs> it's really good. I love poutine. That's actually probably... I love poutine. Oh. I mean, mac and cheese. I said mac and cheese is my favorite food. Okay. i got to remember to eat. I'm just like yeah, so yeah. happy to have Keep you here right now. <laughs> um, breakfast poutine. Now, I don't want you to finish that omelet. So I'm eating my salad. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I'm almost there, guys. In due time, all in good time. Slow and steady. Slow and steady, super slow, extremely steady. Um. French poutine, back to that for a second. <laughs> now, do you sub the gravy for hollandaise sauce in that instance? I love some hollandaise. So that would, that would be the, yeah. the liquid of choice. You can have breakfast gravy though. Oh. People eat it on like breakfast sausages, right? Do they? <laughs> like gravy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Am I confusing my meals? I think a lot of people also like to put syrup on their breakfast sausage and on their bacon. So what if the like sauce on the breakfast poutine was syrup? That's disgusting. <laughs> I, I don't think I can talk about this anymore. <laughs> See, the rest of us haven't eaten yet, so you know we're kind of like uh, envious of your situation. Mildly. If I were not me, I would be envious of my situation. <laughs> At this moment, like, I was jealous of future me about an hour ago. <laughs> now I'm a little bit sad. Yeah. I'm having fun. We're going to give it 15 more minutes. That sounds great. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. <laughs> Let's get an end goal in sight here, and then maybe, you yeah. know, she'll, yeah, uh, she'll change up her strategy. No? Oh, yeah. Still slow and steady. But uh, the French toast is in the queue. Ready yeah. to go next. Is that at bat? Yeah. Or what is it? Um, I should know this. Um, I, I yeah, play softball. <laughs> batter up. On, bit, on, on, on deck? On deck. On deck. Yeah. On deck. Yeah, if you guys have uh, any more questions, even if it's not food related at this point, that's that would probably be better. <sighs> no more food related questions. Um, so we were talking about uh, um, best Olympic moments. Um, we've got mm -hmm. Penny. What, Penny, else, what um, else tops it for you? Hmm. Andre DeGrasse. Yeah. Some men in there. So um, it says eat like you're writing a deadline. <laughs> eat like I'm on deadline. deadline. I don't want to. That, that kind of panic will just make me feel ill. <laughs> you can do it. Um, Andre DeGrasse. Andre DeGrasse. Seeing him in Usain Bolt. Be very... Bud Bud yeah, after the race. Nice. It's always nice. I always appreciate when athletes are uh, sportsmen like. You know what I noticed when they were doing the 100 meter was that um, they both had gold chains on. And I wondered if that, you know, decreased their like. Wind speed? Yeah. Their aerodynamism? Exactly. Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> so uh, that was, a, that was a, an interesting observation that I'd like to know more about. Hmm. There should be like a good luck thing. I'm sure Some it people is. People have like religious necklaces or something. But I'm sure it is, but it did look a bit bulky. This is my thing too. Like, I was talking about how the female runners have ponytails instead of buns. If I'm running, like, if I don't want anything in my face yeah. or like hitting me or like distracting me in any way, I would not pick a ponytail. There's probably some wisdom to that. And also, yeah. what's with the bows? Like, I'm just going to rant for a second. Why are we still wearing bows at the Olympics? Yeah, are you talking about the gymnasts? Or have you seen the runners wearing bows, too? Some of the runners wear bows, or they wear, like, scrunchies. Oh, yeah, scrunchies. You're a lot of hearts for that. Yeah, like, why are we wearing bows, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Um, I'm just going to start ranting towards the end of this. <laughs> I think that maybe I am distracting you. We're talking about distraction-free hair, and I think I should probably let you go for the last... 15 Last minutes 15 and just minutes. plow through. Yeah. So hey, good luck, my friend. Anyway, Sarah good luck. Says. 
Sorry, I interrupted you at Dom's exit. Mm. Thanks, Dom. Um, Bye, friend. Katie, Sarah says you're going to feel sick anyway, so just go for it. Does that help? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want to be sick, that's the thing. The goal is to keep just a whiff of dignity here. I won't be sick. That's like a promise I made myself early, early on. Oh, this omelet is like never ending. It really is. Day five. What are your hopes and dreams, Katie? Gemma wants to know. Gemma in general? Mm -hmm. Oh man. Like for this activity or in general? Cause... I think in general. Oh man. You're an Olympian right now. I am an Olympian. I don't know. I just want to make my mom proud. Doesn't everybody? Um, yeah. Make my mom proud. Maybe one day I have a dog. <laughs> Stainless steel appliances. My dreams are pretty nuclear, as it turns out. First female prime minister. I'm gonna use this campaign to bolster my future campaign. Perfect. Are you having a good time, Katie? I'm honestly having a great time. I don't know what my face looks like right now, but like, I'm really happy in my heart of hearts. Can you tell us again how you trained for this event? One commenter wants to know. Um, still stretchy pants. That's key. Um. I don't know. Try to keep a positive attitude. Had an apple. Which apparently like the acids are like prime you for digestion or something. I don't know. I read a lot of internet Science. things. I read a mental floss article on how competitive competitive eating athletes, competitive eaters prepare. Um like unfortunately I can't just like dip hot dogs in a water glass, but that's one tip if you want to know. Listen to some Drake. Listen to some ice cube. Some pump up the pump up the jam by Technotronic. No, good. Which is one. good. Okay, I'm gonna call this omelet done. Can you show us the sandwich and what's in there? Sure. I'm just gonna put this plate down if I still have the use of my arms. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some crumbs, but sue me. Um. They really want you to eat the French toast. I'm going to. Cheese, egg. Tomato, lettuce, fried onions, bread. Breakfast of swimming champions. I'm gonna try this French toast now. I really just need to eat something that's not eggs. Good idea. Isn't there egg in French toast though? Yeah, it's more like egg-based batter. Helps it cook. How the food is made, I'm so sleepy. What's up guys? Are you full? Like, what does your stomach feel like right now? My stomach doesn't feel like anything. Really? I feel nothing in my stomach. It's just, I think, bypass my stomach and it's like in my neck. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just feel very, um, yeah, I feel kind of exhausted. Mm -hmm. Exhausted. Um, feel happy for all the support. Yeah, you're getting lots of love. I have to say, like, shout yeah, out to the Chatelaine love, staffers because they're always game to do fun, cool things, and like, I appreciate their support. Everyone was very worried this morning about me. Yeah, even even Alexandra, all the way from Italy, is asking how you're feeling. I feel good. I feel great. I feel loved. Um, but a little like a zoo animal, you said earlier. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, there are worse things, like being a zoo animal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's getting dark in here. <laughs> I'm gonna cry and eat again. Mmm. Mmm. Would you eat any of this again? Any of these dishes? Oh, yeah. For sure. I mean, after this. Yeah, I don't feel, um... Maybe not tomorrow. Yeah, maybe not soon. But, like, definitely. I'm not gonna give up a breakfast sandwich. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, this is yummy. This Did is really good. dinner tonight? <laughs> yeah. This is the thing too, and like my friend Lauren, who is somewhere in the comments right now, can attest to this. I'll eat like an obscene amount of food, and then I need to lie down for a minute, or just sit and digest, and then I'm hungry again within an hour, so. So you really think you're gonna have dinner tonight? What do you think you'd have? I don't know, maybe some, um, an omelet, perhaps? No. <laughs> salad? Salad, I don't know. I don't like salad as a meal. 
Which <laughs> surprised no one. Surprising no one. Um, I prefer salad as an accompaniment. Or if there's meat in it. I like a salad. Not a huge lettuce fan. Maybe that's a question for the commenters. How do we feel about lettuce? Because I kind of feel like lettuce is highly overrated and it just blocks you from eating the good food. Um, also very inefficient in terms of water production or water usage. It uses a lot of water. It doesn't really taste like anything. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> lettuce is gross. I don't know. I just don't like lettuce. Full stop. I'm starting to meander a little bit. Okay, we have 10 more minutes. Okay. Can she do it? No, but I can do this. And it's like small, what is that acronym for goals? SMART. Oh, yeah. Small, measurable, oh, attainable, realistic. Those are all the same word. They really want you to eat a sandwich. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I had like three good bites. They're just really dense. I'm playing the long game here. I always forget about the cream of wheat. <laughs> Jeez. Can you get through both French toast? Lauren wants to know. Hmm. I don't know. Probably not in ten minutes. I'll take it back to my desk, and you can take my word for it. Are you gonna like take a bite of the pancake? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Problem so with you say you did? Yeah. Well, I did finish a pancake. Like, you guys see this? These pancakes are monstrous. Like an inch thick. You ate a whole pancake already? Yeah. Oh, wow. I ate two, nice. two omelets, effectively. Pancake, French toast, mm -hmm. half of a half of a sandwich, two coffees, two bites of cream of wheat. This other French toast is imminent. <sighs> are you ready to go swimming? They want to know. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready to collect my prize money. There's no money. Only glory. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do as toddlers do and cut it up into small bites. This is actually helping. I feel like there are a lot of mental strategies to eating. Cause like if I just pretend the cream of wheat is not there, I feel a lot better about my life. They want you to go beast mode in the last five minutes. Beast mode is going to equal barf mode, guys, so <laughs> I'm going to respectfully decline. Hmm. Also, I don't know what beast mode is if I haven't been doing that already. <laughs> I'm not about speed, I'm about consistency. I feel like that's key. Does that mirror your writing style at all? Consistency? It's like I'm a speed writer for sure. Mm -hmm. Like, I definitely need a deadline. And I remember being in school and like, people would start working on essays like three weeks before they were due and I would just do it the night before every single time. And I think that actually helps me as a journalist because now I'm so used to just like producing on deadline that it's kind of a useful skill to be a giant procrastinator. For sure. Katie, channel your favorite cookie monster gift. That's what Carly's saying. No. Oh. Motivation. You guys should look this up. There's a gif, a gif of Cookie Monster, and they present him with a giant cookie. It's honestly the sweetest thing. And he looks so happy, like, just like the best day of his life. So he looks at the food oh and then God. he's like, <laughs> he's so happy. Makes me happy. You could so do a Cookie Monster right now though. Like what? one of those pancakes, just Cookie Monster that pancake out. <laughs> it does look like a giant cookie. Yeah. It looks like a cookie if it was like blown up. Well, I can't look at them. <laughs> can't do it. Are you feeling full? Like, are you starting to feel it in your belly now? I feel like full is, at this point for me, kind of a state of mind. Like, <laughs> I don't, I'm not trying to be weird. I'm really go bleak about it. It's just, I don't feel full. I just feel like exhausted. Maybe when I stand up, it'll be different, but it's like drinking. <laughs> what? I don't drink. Never. 
Okay. You have five more minutes. What are you gonna do in five minutes? I'm gonna finish this French toast. Maybe my water. I feel like we should do a side-by-side -side comparison of what I've eaten. Yeah. Just for the full effect. You, you've done quite well. You really have. You, you've done awesome. Great job. Thanks. Appreciate it. I feel very warm. How tall are you, Katie? I'm 5'8". And Michael Phelps is, what, 6'5"? There you go. Yeah. So, like, yeah, I'd say I have an 8, like, half-ish. Maybe just under half. About half his height, right, Matt? And you still have five minutes. Hmm. Just wanted to say thank you to everybody for continuing to watch. How do you feel about Michael Phelps now? Carly wants to know. 